Hey, right, yo peeps, what's going on? Chess Point Seven gonna be bringing you a live commentary today. I'm gonna be talking about a whole new build, the most funnest build I had in quite some time. It's actually a blast to run. Uh, it is on a little bit OP side, but it's hella fun to run. Uh, and we'll get into this right now. So I'm talking about Dead Eye guys. This shot right, th this build right here is like a two shot build uh, without pulse, without booster shot. I mean, ground level is a two shot kill. It's always two shots. Your crits are about 120, 110, 130 sometimes. So it's it's just one of those builds where you just put out massive amounts of damage. Now there is downfalls about this build. Uh, I'm running the M700. The fire rate on it is very, very low. So if you get somebody that's coming up to you close, you're pretty much hooped. If somebody's hip firing you, you're pretty much hooped. Uh, the only thing that you can do to possibly counter that is maybe a shock turret. Uh, but then again, like I have killed a couple of people with my AUG, but it's nothing that I would rely on. Uh, when I have pulled it out trying to 1v1 somebody, I usually end up dying really fast. Like, look at my health. I got like absolutely no health. I'm all firearms with this build, and, uh, and the critical hit damage is just stacked. So anyways, let's get into this. So one thing that I, you guys need to do, is, first of all, uh, don't look at the DPS with this build, and I'll get into that because... Uh, when you put on dead eye, four piece dead eye gives you uh, four piece dead eye gives you 100% critical hit chance. So you guys don't need anything with critical hit chance. I know that sometimes it's hard to hard to get away from it, but you need uh, critical hit damage on every piece of gear that you can get it on, and then also your mods, etc. Also have to be uh, you know critical hit damage because you already got the critical hit chance 100% when you're aimed down sight So you just need to stack as much critical hit damage as possible. So anyways, let's get into this So this is my marksman rifle. I decided to choose yes You can run the SOCOM or you can work, work the first wave M1A But those shots those, those, those sniper rifles are gonna take three four five shots to kill somebody um, But they are very very good to run. I mean the fire rate on them is a lot faster than the M700 um, but I think the time to kill is a little bit a little bit down when it comes to the M700. So I'd recommend the M700. It's probably really annoying for the people that I'm killing, but it works like a charm. So anyways, let's get into it. So first talent I have on the gun is deadly. You have to have this on your sniper rifle. So make sure you guys have it because critical hit damage is increased by 15%. Remember, you're stacking as much critical hit damage as possible. Brutal. Brutal can go. Brutal is nothing that I need on the sniper rifle, but unfortunately I haven't picked up a better sniper rifle without Brutal on it. Uh, a lot of these M the M700s come with Brutal, and I haven't had one that comes with Deadly, so I can re-roll Brutal, so unfortunately that kind of sucks. And then of course Elevated. Elevated is really good if you can get above your enemies, but even when I'm fighting somebody ground level, they're still a two-shot. So if you get Elevated, you can sometimes get away with one-shotting them if they're like 90-80% health. You can probably get a one-shot a lot of times. So it, it is a good perk, but it's nothing that you should rely on. Alright, let's get into my chest piece here. So my chest piece is running Reckless. Now, I can run my Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, but... I think Reckless is better. The reason for that is because I put out an extra 8% damage. You know what I mean? Uh, when I run a Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, when I use one skill, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I only gain 5% damage. So I get an extra 3% from running Reckless. So that's why I decided to go with Reckless. Now, the downfall about Reckless is yes, you take increased damage by 10% which sucks bad but then again you're a sniper you shouldn't be rushing with this build you shouldn't be like you know right in the middle of you know it's it, it's it's not a good thing to do so when you're a sniper the best thing to do is stay like behind your team but don't go too far where you're not helping your team you're not doing any shots on anybody you're just waiting like don't do that kind of sniping do the sniping where you know you're behind the, behind your teammates, but you're still engaging the enemy. You know what I mean? Or find somewhere in the middle of the map where you can post up and and snipe from there. 
So that, that's my recommendation. And then on this one, I have a 1270, which is an awesome, awesome roll on firearms, because I think cap is a 1272. And then I have a couple firearms mods I slap on there as well. Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, yes, you can run Barrett's Bull Bulletproof Vest with this build. It's not like I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it, it is an awesome build to do, and uh, or an awesome choice to make. Uh, but then again, you know, I, I decided to go with Reckless just for that 8%, that extra 3%, if that makes any sense. Alright, so let's get into my mask here. So my mask is uh, 1263 firearms, and then I have a mod on there for extra firearms, and then I re-rolled it for skill power. Uh, I, I needed a little bit more skill power just because of my, you know, my booster shot. I wanted a little bit more critical hit, uh, damage, and then also my, my pulse. And, uh, you know, also a, a first aid self heal a little bit, you know, even though it's it's nothing at all with that low skill power. So you can pretty much run whatever you want for skills. This was just me because when I run booster, you know, I get an extra critical hit damage. And when I run pulse, I get more critical hit damage, if that makes any sense. So that's why I decided to go with that. All right. So let's get into my knee pads here. So my knee pads are also 1268 firearms, very, very good roll. And then I got another mod on there for 266 firearms. And then this one has 8% critical hit damage. Now, cap out is better, you would be better off if you had 9% critical hit damage, but on these I could only get 8%. And I had to re-roll these for firearms because they were electronics before. So I could have kept them at electronics and re-rolled um, you know my critical hit damage for an extra one percent or I could have went with firearms so it's kind of a no-brainer that's why I went with firearms I wanted this build to just put out as much damage as possible with each shot all right so let's get into my backpack here so my backpack here is also very good uh, 1267 firearms and then I have another mod on there for 258 um, and this one also has 8% critical hit damage. I had to reroll this one also for firearms. Um, so right there between my knee pads and my go bag, I am losing 2% critical hit damage, which hurts. It's not, it's not a, it's not a good thing, but I mean, it, it still puts out massive damage. So if I had 2%, it's just a bonus. So right now it's to the point where I'm just waiting for better gear. All right, so let's get into my holster here. My holster is all over 12 except firearms, which sucks, but I have not found a better holster yet. But when I do, and it's gonna be all over 12s, then I'll definitely run that, and I'll also run health on there as well. Now, do not re-roll these guys for critical hit chance because you do not need them, and don't go with you what your DPS says. All right, so my gloves. My gloves are the thing that are hurting me the most right now. I'm running Savage. Don't do that. Do not run Savage. Uh, as you can see, the Sa Savage talent gives you more critical hit chance. Okay, I don't, I don't want critical hit chance with this weapon. The reason that I have these on is because these ones are the best suiting for my sniper rifle. And all my other gloves, I can't get firearms and marksman rifle and critical hit damage on them. So that really, really sucks. So these gloves are the best ones I have for sniping. So you guys that are out there, you guys will probably have, you know, you guys could probably come up with a better build. Maybe if you guys, uh, you know, just pay attention to your gear and just maybe if you guys save some gloves because gloves I seem are pretty hard to, to get for one Pacific weapon, if that makes any sense. And I don't really check the gear vendors very often. I should have picked up some and just kept them in my stash, but I'm probably just like most people. If I don't need them at that moment, then I just sell them or delete them, you know? So that kind of hurts. So they are 1263 firearms, which is awesome. Uh, and then they're 16% critical hit damage. Now I think max roll on these are 17% critical hit damage. So, um, if you guys have one with even better marksman rifle damage, I know I used to have pairs where I had like 43, 4400 marksman rifle damage. These ones I only got 4000 and I got 16% critical damage. So, you know, my gloves are a downfall, but they definitely do help a little bit and I have not found a better pair yet. But you can run any type of gloves you guys want with this build. Okay, critical chance at the bottom, pretty much wipe that, it doesn't mean anything, it's pretty much a talent that doesn't exist at that moment. Alright, so let's do my, my, my M700 here, we're going to go through my mods here real quick. So, 
I, I have a magazine on there for 116%, and then my critical hit damage is 4%, and, I, and I'm pretty sure that is max that you can get for a magazine. If I'm not, if I'm mistaken, then please let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that 4% on a magazine is max. So, you know, I max out with my magazine, which is fine, and then critical hit chance pretty much wipe that, it doesn't mean anything. All right, so when it comes to my large optics, I got 18% critical hit damage, and my head, and then I have headshot damage and critical hit chance. You pretty much wipe those two. The only thing that I'm looking for is critical hit damage, and it's 18%. I think cap is 19%, and also my large muzzle. I think cap is 19% as well, or maybe it's just the muzzle that's 19%. Uh, but anyways, it's still pretty good, but I would rather have one more percent. Uh, and then also my large under barrel. I am capped out at 19% critical hit damage, and then I have reload speed and range on there as well. Uh, so when you guys are making this build, just stack up whatever it says critical hit damage. Stack that up. Do not look at your DPS, like I said, because if you do that, you're going to do something like this. See how my DPS says it goes up to 300k? Okay, but what am I gonna? I'm gonna lose 19% critical hit damage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna gain reload speed, accuracy, and stability. You know what I mean? But I'm giving away 19% critical hit damage, even though 100% of my shots are gonna be critical hits. So that's kind of a useless perk. So do just just do not look at your DPS when it comes to making this build. Uh, and you guys will do great. Anyways, I did have an intro clip for this video, but unfortunately I deleted it. It was a it was a quad kill. So I will be uploading a gameplay with this build after this video at some point in time, and it's gonna be great. You guys will like it. So, anyways, uh, I think I went on a 27 kill streak with this weapon. So I think you guys will enjoy that. If you guys would like to look at my uh, talents real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys. Critical chance 11%, wipe that. You can wipe that to 100% because when you're scoped in, it's 100%. And then my critical hit damage is 151%. Now, going through all my gear, you guys know that I'm missing, you know, 5% or whatever critical hit damage, which would really, really help. Last stand, I think it automatically caps out for you. So I'm running at 151%. If you guys can beat that, then do that. Uh, or even if you guys are around there, I mean, I, I two shot people, no problem. Um, sometimes you will have to three shot people depending on their health, etc. Uh, but not very, very often at all. Alright, so let's go into my talents here. Uh, my talents here, I'm running uh, Tactical Advance. Now, I never use this. I never, ever, ever use this. And then uh, Precision. This one's very important because when you headshot somebody, they pulse for 10 seconds. And then, you know, your next shot is going to be even more critical damage. So that one's very important. And then I got Critical Save on there. And then I have Combat Medic. Combat Medic is actually very good when you got when you guys are running with a team. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, then please drop that like button. And until next time, peace.